Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel for another top 10 video. Today I have some of the latest 1.15.2 mods to share with you all today. As you probably guessed, these are all available for 1.15.2 and a lot of them are available for other versions of Minecraft as well. As always guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and to comment down below what other top 10 videos you would like to see on the channel. Anyway, let's get on with the video. First up today, we have a mod that has become fairly popular in the Minecraft mod community. And that is the Chunk in a Globe mod. This mod adds a new special block to the game that if you right click onto the block, it shrinks you down onto said block and you're able to build and design your own little world onto it. This is great if you want to do a game of hide and seek with your mates in a world and you can shrink down and design your own little world, your own little house and hide within that little house. Next up for you, I have the Elena Dodge mod. This is a simple mod that adds a new dodging movement to the game. You can use this ability to dodge in all four directions. What's great about this mod is that it's been made so that you aren't able to abuse its powers, such as you can't dodge mid-air to fly further. But if you go into the config files, you're able to turn that blocker off and customize it to your liking. Now we move on to the Swamp Expansion mod. This mod just makes the swamps in your world slightly better and more interesting. It achieves this by changing out the wood type for the trees and allowing giant mushrooms to auto spawn here. This all just comes together to make the swamp wandering more exciting and enjoyable. Up next we have the magic mirror mod. This mod adds a fully functional mirror to your game. Everyone loves to have a mirror in their world and what's so good about this particular mod is that it doesn't cause any drops in performance for your computer. There's no lag spikes, there's no drops in FPS. You're just able to use this mod smoothly, nicely and to have some sick looking mirrors around your base. Next on the list we have the Nether Portal Spread mod. With this mod installed, once you activate a Nether Portal, it begins to spread the Nether into the overworld. You're able to config the portal spread radius so you can decide how far the Nether can spread into the overworld by a 100 block radius. Having this mod installed works to make the two worlds feel a lot more connected together After that we have the atmospheric mod. Lots of biome mods tend to replace the biomes in your game or edit them in some way. This mod just nicely adds in two brand new biome mods. These two new biomes are the rosewood forest and the dunes. These biomes look pretty awesome so if you don't want to get rid of your classic vanilla biomes and you just want to add some more this is a great mod for that. After that we have the Towers of the Wild. This mod adds randomly generated towers to your world which provides you with a chest of loot at the top and also gives you a great vantage point of the land below. 
Having new structures generated in your world is always a great mod and just adds to your gameplay. Moving on, we have the Better Animals Plus mod. For the current version of Minecraft, this mod adds in the best range of animals. But if you was to go down to a previous version of the game, you will find better animal creature mods. But nevertheless, this mod is still great, detailed, and adds a ton of animals to your 1.15.2 world. Coming towards the end, we have the Upgraded Aquatic mod. This mod's purpose is to serve as a big upgrade to the Aquatic update. It adds all sorts, ranging from new blocks, plants and fish to the world. This mod fits so nicely into your vanilla Minecraft, it essentially makes it look flawless and natural that it's always supposed to have been there. Finally today we have the Midnight Dimension. This is pretty much the only Dimension mod that has been upgraded to the latest version of Minecraft thus far. It's a beautiful looking Dimension mod, the whole place looks very intriguing and mysterious to walk through and explore. There's very few beautiful Dimension mods out there and this is definitely one of the top ones for me. Well, that's it for today's video guys. If there are any other mods that you think should have been included in today's video, make sure to comment them down below and we'll try and get them into another video and I will at least take a look at them and see what I think about them. As always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your subscribing and your support on the channel. Until next time guys, see ya.